Last night, Paul Barry on Media Watch covered the IPA's poll released last week. Reported on news.com.au, it found that one third of Australians think the ABC does not represent the views of ordinary Australians. And now to Poll of the Week, which is really bad news for me and our viewers, because it proves that we need to be privatised. Exclusive. One third say ABC is out of touch with ordinary Aussies. Now this is a damning indictment on the ABC. Only 32% believe it represents their views, yet 100% of taxpayers are forced to fund it. Really, it's unsurprising the ABC would choose to cover it and attempt to discredit the findings. The IPA is renewing calls for the $1.1 billion a year national broadcaster to be privatised. Barry went on to take issue with the way the question was asked. So, given the purpose, how fair was the poll? I mean, you can trust the IPA, can't you? Well, respondents were asked, do you agree or disagree with the statement? The ABC does not represent the views of ordinary Australians. Now, that is what pollsters call a leading question, or perhaps even push polling. And it's an absolute no-no if you're looking for accuracy. We asked the IPA why they did not ask a neutral question, and their Director of Communications replied... I reject the premise of your question, that it is not phrased neutrally. What Barry failed to include, but was published in my full response on their website afterwards, was that the following sentence of mine was... Asking Australians to agree or disagree with the statement the ABC does represent the views of ordinary Australians could also be seen as not neutral. But Paul Barry seems to have a very new problem with supposedly not neutral polls. Just weeks ago, Barry gleefully promoted this poll. There's no doubt that climate change activists across the world think the fires should be a tipping point. And many Australians agree, with 72% of respondents to an Australia Institute poll last month saying the fires should be a wake-up call to the world. Let's have a look at that poll again. Full of leaning, loaded and surprise, surprise, statements asked in the negative. Funny that. Also note when then introducing the IPA, Barry describes the IPA as libertarian and free market. It's a libertarian free market think tank that has been pushing that line for some time. But does he equally introduce our sparring partners at the Australian Institute as green left or progressive? No, he does not. Once upon a time, Media Watch lectured the rest of the media on introducing the political leanings of think tanks correctly. You're supposed to know or to guess from what they say that the Centre for Independent Studies, for example, is a right-of-centre think tank that aims to promote individual liberty and choice, an economy based on free markets. According to the Media Watch's own metrics, it has set for the rest of the media. The neutrality of polling, the introduction of think tanks, it seems the ABC, once again, are not to be trusted. For more of the IPA's research highlighting the positive case for privatisation of the ABC, head to ipa.org.au.